Okay, so today I'm going to get you up and running with Sega Saturn using LaunchBox. I'm going to show you some video settings, which BIOS file to use for this, and also which game extensions you can use with this. So check this video out. Okay, so if you like what you see in today's video, be sure to check out my playlist on different launch box setup guides and also hit notifications for me and subscribe. It really helps out my channel a lot. Okay, so first things first with this, we're going to go into RetroWatch. Now, when you downloaded LaunchBox originally, you would have had the option to download RetroWatch with it. They both go together really well. And if you don't have RetroWatch with LaunchBox, then just download it. So for this, I'm going to go into my RetroWatch. I'm going to go to open file location and in file location, I'm going to look for the system folder, which is at the top here. And this is where our BIOS files goes. And once we're in the system folder, I'm going to just drag my Sega Saturn BIOS inside of this. And remember, the system folder is where your BIOS files go for RetroArch. Next thing I'm going to do is just open up LaunchBox. And I'm using the latest 13.5. It seems that a 13.6 is on its way shortly. So I will be doing a setup guide for that one to get you up and running with the latest. Next thing we're going to do is just head over to Tools, Import, ROM Files. And this is going to bring up the wizard as standard. I'm going to press Next. And this is the part where we're going to search for our games. So LaunchBox can import them and we can get some artwork and preview videos potentially. So I'm going to go to Add Folder, go to my desktop and look for my Sega Saturn game. Now I've got my Saturn game inside of a dedicated folder just here that I've created. So I'm going to highlight this one and just to make you aware, the file extension I'm using for this is, as you can see, .chd, but you can run .q and .bin files with this. So let's go to select folder, press next. And what platform are you importing games for? So obviously this is Sega Saturn. If you don't have this come up, then just drop this down and just search for Sega Saturn, which is just here. And let's go to next. I'm gonna just drop this down and go to RetroArch. And we don't need to download anything in the background. Just make sure automatically download RetroArch core if missing. And that's gonna download us the cores for Sega Saturn. So just make sure this one's enabled and I'm going to press next. And this option here is going to ask you where you want to put your games. Do you want to move them to a different location on your computer? If you just want to keep them where they are, then just go for use the files in their current location. And that's what I'm going to use. Now I'm going to press next. And the next part is entirely up to you. Just be very selective what you're doing, because if you download all of this artwork together, it's going to take up a lot of room on your hard drive and obviously you're going to want to keep some hard drive space for your games so for me just for this setup guide i'm going to select everything and press next configure emu movies is optional uh, if you want preview videos if you're using something like big box then just sign up with emu movies and enter your user id and password in there and press ok i'm going to go to next and finally, we got Bezel Project. Now, if you want to download Bezels for playing your Saturn games through LaunchBox, this will take away the black bars on the side of the screen. And remember, traditionally, Sega Saturn games was really done for a 4x3 aspect ratio. So if you want to download the Bezels, then just hit Download Bezels and then take it from there. You've got an option here to uh, select what you want for that. I'm not going to download it. I'm going to go to Next. And again, press next, and it's now scanning for my game. So here we go. This is Alien Trilogy in a .chd extension. And if you've got your games in a .bin .q extension, uh, that's going to be listed just here too as .bin .q, whatever. So I'm going to press finish. And it's now searching for artwork, and it's also downloading Sega Saturn course for us, as we can see, missing RetroArch course. And this is going to download us a few RetroArch cores for Sega Saturn. So once this is finished downloading the artwork, as we can see, my game has now got artwork. We can go to Image Group to change how this looks. We can go to Carts, and that's going to give you a CD picture of your game. Uh, screenshots. Personally, I prefer just boxes. 
Okay, so let's just open up this game. So I'm going to double left click on this, and this is going to boot us straight in. So just to bear in mind, I've got no filters applied to this, no scaling, no scan lines. This is exactly a default configuration for Sega Saturn on LaunchBox or RetroArch. So let's go to English, and uh, this by far is one of my favourite 90s games. I used to play this one a lot on the PS1 back in the day. Burke, we've lost contact with the colony on LV-426. Take more minutes. So if you're into 32-bit FPS games, if you've not tried out Alien Trilogy, which I'd imagine most of you have at this point, uh, try out Alien Trilogy. It's a great FPS game, especially for uh, the 90s on a console. So uh, let's get into the gameplay with this. I'm not going to play it forever, but I'm going to just make you aware of the pixelation in the warping we can see here. So if we just access the Retro Watch menu, we can clean this up. And to do this, we're going to go to Settings, Video, and if you go down to scaling, turn on integer scale, and that's going to blur up just a little bit. And integer scale over scale, we're going to turn this to on as well. And for those of you wanting a more stretched image, if you go to aspect ratio and turn this to 16 by 9, as you can see in the background, we now have got a full ratio. And this one just here is going to require us restarting, but it's worth it and it's going to clean up the games for us. So let's just back out of here. And I'm going to go to configuration file and save current configuration. And I'm going to restart. So let's go back into Alien Trilogy. And this should now give us a 16 by 9. And there we go. And things look a lot more fresher now. Okay, and there we go. As we can see, the video settings are now applied, and it looks pretty good. I'm not going to apply this because I don't particularly like this, but you've also got scan lines you can play around with. So if we go back into the RetroArch menu, Settings, Video, and if we just scroll to the bottom, you'll find Video Filter, and this is going to give you lots of different filter options, including those scan lines. And there are several different filters which comes with RetroArch. So, you know, you can play around with these by all means. But yeah, the game looks really good. Okay, so that's it for my Sega Saturn Launchbox setup guide today. Like I said, with video settings, sometimes it's just worth playing around with the settings. But I've showed you the essential settings to use in terms of video settings. So that is it. So just play around with it and see what outcome you get. For some games, it's going to look really wonderful. For others, it might not. So just experiment. And like I said at the beginning of this video, if you're new to this channel, then just hit notifications. It's going to get you the latest content for LaunchBox and other front ends that I cover. And it's also going to help out my channel a lot. Also subscribe, of course. And I'm also on social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. And be sure to check out my new members. Membership options. But until next time, stay retro.